CNN has decided to fire Kathy Griffin and uninvite her from any future New Year's Eve hosting jobs that she typically does with Anderson Cooper. Now, why are they doing this? Well, if you missed the news yesterday, Kathy Griffin got a lot of hate, a lot of heat after she posted a photo of herself holding a head, a decapitated head that appeared to look like Donald Trump. It was bloody, it was graphic, and a lot of people both on the left and the right criticized her for it, us included. Well, CNN really didn't like it, and here's what they tweeted. CNN has terminated our agreement with Kathy Griffin to appear on our New Year's Eve program. Mm -hmm. Now, she did apologize, which initially she tried to defend the image as a work of art. But I think after so many people criticized her for it, she kind of wised up and realized that it was a really bad idea. And here's what she posted to Twitter. Hey everybody, it's me, Kathy Griffin. I sincerely apologize. I am just now seeing the reaction of these images. I'm a comic, I cross the line, I move the line, then I cross it. I went way too far. The image is too disturbing. I understand how it offends people. It wasn't funny, I get it. I've made a lot of mistakes in my career, I will continue. I ask your forgiveness, taking down the image, gonna ask the photographer to take down the image, and I beg for your forgiveness. I went too far, I made a mistake, and I was wrong. So it's a fine apology, and but you usually get that kind of apology when it hurts your pocketbook. When when you when it hits the wallet, you're like, oh, I'm so so sorry, I didn't mean it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, sure, I I I totally accept her apology. Not that she cares, but you know, like that was a genuine apology, and she realized she was wrong. At the same time, it's it's interesting because in this current political climate. An apology is like suicide, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you don't apologize, if you take the Donald Trump route and you just refuse to apologize after you say crazy things, people just forget about it, mm -hmm. right? Um, but then when you do apologize, I feel like you get more criticism and more people pile on. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Anderson Cooper, who does host these New Year's Eve specials with her, uh, tweeted about this whole incident as well. And man, like, ba boom, ba boom, like she's under that bus. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this is just dirty dirt. I really didn't like this tweet. He wrote, uh, for the record, I am appalled by the photo shoot Kathy Griffin took part in. It is clearly disgusting and completely inappropriate. I just feel like he went a he is a little extra. You know what I mean? Like he went a little too far. I get it. You know, you could just say, I don't agree with it. I wish he hadn't done that, right? But she's kind of a colleague of yours. Like just yeah, just bring it down, dude. Bring I get it, down. it. I get it. You don't want uh, advertisers bailing on you either. Right. Super obvious. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, final uh, thing on this that uh, I think is relevant is that look, I, I think that advertisers are too risk averse, and they make all the media risk averse, and it drives me crazy. And I'm actually let me go on the record on a randomly here to say that I don't agree with the advertising boycott of Sean Hannity. Um, what? So the Glenn Beck, oh, I think, was different, and and Bill O'Reilly was different. I'm not even sure you, I even agreed with those, but uh, but I, I know that they had crossed a lot of lines. For Bill O'Reilly, it was physical; he crossed physical lines, right? Uh, but Sean Hannity, so you don't agree with some conspiracy he has, I, whatever, right? But on in this one, I do agree, and I'll tell you why. It's because uh, it, we're coarsening everything by everyone trying to grab attention. And usually what we do is you do horrible things or say horrible things, you get more attention and you are rewarded for it. So I like that we've drawn some line on the outer, outer edges, right? When you show a decapitated president's head, apparently there is a line. And so we're not gonna reward you for trying to grab attention in that way. So. Uh, so I, I, I agree with CNN's actions here on Kathy Griffin. I agree that Anderson Cooper needlessly rubbed salt in those wounds. Yeah, yeah. And I also agree that we accept her apology and move on with our lives. Right, exactly. Now, I just want to draw a really quick distinction between a line that Democrats will agree to versus a line that Republicans will agree to, right? I don't know if there would be this much backlash if the tables were turned and a right wing public figure did something similar toward a, a, a liberal president or a democratic president. I think there would be. You think so? I, think I mean, this is speculation, worse. but I just feel like, I don't know, there are a lot of, there were a lot of heinous things said by Trump. 
that Republicans continuously defend. But like I said yesterday when we were talking about the original Kathy Griffin story, if you showed a decapitated head of Obama bloodied, people would have been super mad. Now let me be clear though, because there weren't any public figures that, that I know of at least that did that. However, there were certainly a lot of Republican voters who shared imagery of Obama hanging from a noose and that kind of stuff. Like that stuff was all over the place. I but know. that's a, there's a difference between public and, figures and and, and there private was target citizens. practice of Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. I understand that, but the bloodied severed head is a, is de, is so visual, so graphic uh, that I think it's a different line. Again, you put in any other head there that a Democrat, Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders. Oh, it's no, no, no. People would have been livid. So I think that there it would have been the same reaction in this case. That's my opinion. What do you get for Young Turks membership? It's a mystery. Only one way to find out. TYTnetwork.com slash join.